Praise God. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him glory. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are all having a blessed afternoon. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is good. He is He is worthy to be praised. Because guess what? It could be worse than what it is. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel when I've been feeling it since yesterday. Praise God. The power of God. And whenever you have the power of God, you got to understand that evil is always present. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. David says, he says, God says that I will bless you in the presence of your enemies. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me encourage you. You see my title, but let me encourage you for a moment. If you have enemies, then you need to stand up and be blessed or sit down, whichever one you prefer. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, I will bless you in the presence. You don't understand. You can't get blessed if you're not in the presence of your enemies. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. My title comes at a time where this has been a problem in the body of Christ for a long time. And so this morning I said, God, what do you want me to speak about? He said, offense in the body of Christ, maturity must be restored. I'm going to say that again. Maturity must be restored in the body of Christ. Not all of a sudden everybody ain't got saved. They, 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 they're sensitive than before. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Now I understand being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. But when you were out there, people could do what they did, how they did. Don't play with me. We've all been unsaved before. And you know, we took a whole lot more. We gave a whole lot more. We did a whole lot more. Come on, somebody walk with me this afternoon. So how is it that you come into the body of Christ and then you come against your brother and your sister full flesh? Now, hold on. Unless it's a thus said the Lord, because you got to understand what Isaiah says, that the blood will be required. So we have to tell people the truth, but in love and in context. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and I, I'm very transparent on purpose. I remember beginning my ministry. I didn't do all that right. I had to learn as some of you are learning and will learn. Come on, somebody. Because here's the deal. What's going to happen is you, you come against somebody publicly and God didn't tell you. You know what's going to happen? Both of y'all going to get hit. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. Y'all both going to get hit. Now y'all both looking like, okay, suspect. Meaning that it's okay to address anything that have been done, but protocol still exists. And, and what I've learned, this new church, y'all don't know protocol. That's not a hit, not trying to hurt you, not trying to bash you. You Y'all don't know, most of y'all don't know protocol. And it's sad because the older people, some of them are trying to treat, teach y'all. And then the other half, y'all just don't want to listen. But there will always be protocol because God is a God of order. Where there's no order, there's no God. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead with the definition of offense. Offense means, now think about it. Offensive also in law. Now it's spelled differently, but it says a breach of law or rule or illegal act. Crime, misdemeanor, felony. You know how they say um, they did their first offense. Oh, come on, somebody. So, so in a court of law, there's there's always offense. That's why people are always going to court. Husband and wife, divorce court. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me. I'm going somewhere with this. Now, the second definition says resentment brought by a perceived insult to or disregard for oneself or one standard or principles, wrath, displeasure, vexation. Now I want to talk about the second definition the most, because notice what it says. It says resentment brought by a perceived. That means that you think, but it could not have been that way. You see, perception is in the eye of the beholder. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, if y'all know how we used to play in grade school, they used to play that. I'm sure everybody played that game where they said, um, they gave you a line. Let's say little Johnny went to the store. By the time we got to the last person, little Johnny had a girlfriend. He didn't went home, got a pregnant, brought some ham, brought some bacon. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, that's the same thing that keeps going on in life. One perception is not the, another perception. We can look at the same painting and we will perceive it differently. As a matter of fact, we can look at the same scripture and perceive it differently. I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. There is too much offense in the body of Christ. You don't want nobody to tell you nothing when you're wrong, you're wrong. But there is a way that you're supposed to do that thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And y'all know where I'm going with this and I'm going to talk about it. And I know y'all not going to like it, but guess what? It is what it is. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is too much offense. I'm talking about the Bible says, let, let's go to scripture. Come on, somebody. Because that's how we're going to always do it from now. I'm going to start taking y'all to scripture because I don't want nobody to say, well, apostle talking about her opinion because y'all know I, let me tell you something. And I have to say this, um, subliminal messages. I'm a prophet, so you know I'm going to catch him. So if you don't understand what I teach, I suggest you go to God. Don't play with me. 
Don't send no inbox, no crook box, no nothing. Because all I'm going to do is press delete. I don't have to explain nothing to you. If you don't know the gospel, that's your business. If you don't know the spirit of God, that's your business. If you don't know the word of God, that's your business. I suggest you find out. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because this stuff is real. People don't know scripture. People don't know scripture. We got to start back teaching the Bible before they take them away anyway. So anyway, Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22. And I just, I'm just going to read the first verse. Jesus instructs us to forgive 70 times, seven, 70 times, excuse me, seven times. So what am I saying? The Bible also says that if you have ought against any brother, you go to them, not Facebook, not look book, not, not YouTube. Y'all, y'all, y'all getting it right. And, and hold on with all fairness. I had to learn that as well. So I'm not saying anything that I don't know, unless it's a thus said the Lord and you can't get in touch with the person on a personal level, then God may tell you to say something publicly, but it is not going to hurt their ministry to the effect to where they may not be able to come back. God is never going to tell you. And I need y'all to listen to me very carefully. Not, God is never going to tell you to publicly humiliate your brother or your sister to the degree of what I've seen recently would happen. God is not going to do that. I'm sorry. And y'all can get mad because, and I'm going here, I'm going here. I'm going to go ahead and say it because guess what? I ain't scared of none of y'all and I don't care. I love everybody. But Dr. Juanita Bynum was wrong the way she did that. You don't go to Facebook and put out what, um, Pastor uh, Bishop John Moore did. They were supposed to sit down and discuss that stuff. You do not air it out on um, Facebook. You don't do it that way. I don't care what none of y'all said. I don't even care what happened. We have to go back to the oracles of God. We have to start understanding that God is supposed to be. As a matter of fact, let us go scripture again because some of you going to say, because I know y'all love her and then some of y'all love him. Well, how about I love them? Come on, somebody. Now, both of them then got hit because now both of them are suspect because now I'm going to tell you how real this is. If you really listen to her live, then you would understand that there's a lot of other issues that were brought out just because she did what she did. If you, I want you to listen to it with the spirit of God. She talks about how she doesn't like white limousines because her sister died and this and that. And it hurt me because I really love this woman. I always have. Now, I'm going to say what God said to say because I had to say some things. If you, if you follow me, you know that. But. Don't you understand what Satan did? Satan exposed both parties and both of their inconsistencies or even of their unmaturity. If that's a word, I didn't made up a whole word. And so we got to be careful because don't you understand the enemy wants to divide us and conquer? That's been the oldest trick and that's what he's been doing. He did it to Adam and Eve. Come on, somebody. He did it because guess what? Eve had no business eating that apple. Uh, it was actually it was a sweet nectar. But then what, he, what she did? Some when somebody wrong, they always want somebody else to get into it, huh? That's what that Facebook thing did. It got everybody into the business, and that's not of God. So I'm not here to bash nobody, so don't come to me with no craziness because you know I'm going to shoot back at you in a spirit-filled way. I'm coming here for correction because that's what we do as apostles and prophets, apostolic order. You don't take to Facebook. If something happened, you better go to God first and ask God, how do I handle it? Don't go to man. Y'all talking, she's talking about her bishops told her to do that. Whoever her bush, bishops are, shame on you. Shame on you because that wasn't God that told you to tell her to go to Facebook. Somebody lying. But anyway, let me continue about offense. I'm talking about offense. If we've been offended, you're supposed to go to your brother and your sister in love love and then after it is absorbed and you know everybody is you don't walk away from a situation without it being resolved point blank in the story and once it is resolved then forgiveness must take place point blank because the bible says that if you don't forgive then your father in heaven will not forgive you you guys, let me tell you something. I don't know what's happening. Yes, I do know. The, the enemy that came into the church with the worldly messages, with the prosperity messages, with the nakedness. Yeah, I said it and all kind of other stuff. Now you got a church that is divided and God is trying to bring his church back together. And y'all don't want nobody to say nothing because nobody want to be corrected. Can I tell you something? You're not a child of God if you can't accept correction.
because we all should be able to, because every day, truth be told, you, we are accepting correction because you're going to do something. You're going to think about something because you're human and you're flesh. So come on, somebody, let's not lie to each other or about each other. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I looked at birth, both interviews and to be honest with you, I believe it was just a big misunderstanding, something that didn't even have to go that far. Come on, somebody. And I'm talking about offense, not just that situation. I'm seeing it every day on Facebook or every other day where somebody got mad and I'm exposed. And that's not your job unless you are a prophet or a P-R-O-F-I-T. Because most of the time people do that, it's an under it's an underlying agenda. Yeah, I said it. You want some attention, you want some, I don't know what you want, but you want something. Because God ain't gonna tell you to do it that way unless it's a thus said the Lord, and you cannot reach that person personally. And then it is a way he's going to tell you to do it. He ain't going to tell you to do it in a bashful way. Come on, somebody. He, as a matter of fact, every does said the Lord I have done about a person that's never been in a bashful way. It has been in a stern way. I can assure you that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so all I'm saying is count the cost. Count the cost of your ministry, the next person ministry. But most of all, how about walking in love. Didn't I just say this yesterday and day before yesterday, and I'm saying, I'm saying it again today. At the bottom of all your ministry, I don't care if you've been in ministry a hundred years, if you don't have love, you are a liar before God and y'all get mad. I really don't care. You have to walk in love, people. I don't care what nobody do. You Yes, sometimes people do some other stuff that hurts us, but that's why, that's why they have a court system. Now think about it. If they have a natural court system, don't you think they have a spiritual court system? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to come with you with some wisdom. Do you think God going to just let them have a court system and not us? But ours cannot be seen because he is the judge. Come on, somebody. The ultimate judge. And that's why we go to him first before we go to anybody. To his name. I know some of you don't like it and some of you don't say something. And guess what? God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, and all that good stuff. God is never go yes it's okay to talk about things yes it's okay to be validated but the love gotta come back that's what i keep hearing god say you gotta love people back to life because we all have made mistakes we all fall short of the glory of god but, but y'all don't want nobody to tell nobody nothing especially if y'all like them can i tell you something it doesn't matter because i actually love both of these people but yet yeah, truth is truth and I'm going to say what God tell me to say. It does not matter. And hold on. The same thing for anybody else. The same thing for me. When we are in error, we are in error. It does not matter. And most people get offended. Well, that's my girl. That's my boy. You know what? You foolish. That's a woman of God and that's a man of God. And it's supposed to be handled by God. How could we, we not like the world? We're supposed to come from among them. That means we be separated. That means we act differently. We talk differently. We walk differently. We act differently. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me today. I know it. Hallelujah. What am I saying? What is the moral of this, of this life? Stop being so offended by everything. Nobody's perfect. We all fall short of the glory of God. You're not going to do everything right. A, B, C, D. E, F, and G. That's not going to happen as long as you live. Man of God, woman of God, that's not going to happen. You're going to make some mistakes. But have the enough self love and love for your brother and sister. Extend the same grace and the same mercy that God extends us every day. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't nobody bashing nobody. Stop, stop assassinating people's character. Y'all got to stop that foolishness. Don't y'all see what the enemy is doing? Then got into the church. Now, you know what he doing? The enemy doing? He's sitting back laughing at everybody. They go to church again. They go, but, but they talk about God. They talk about the Holy Spirit. They talk about, it, it doesn't make sense what's happening. And I know it's the enemy. At the end of that thing, ain't nothing but the enemy. So I pray that you understand that. If you get an offense with anybody, and this is in the church and out the church, this is protocol. First, you go pray somewhere with your mad self. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because we all got issues. You know you want to get mad. You know you're mad. You know you're feeling some kind of way. You little feelings hurt. The first thing you're supposed to do is get by yourself. Say, you know what? Hold on, y'all. Let me consult God. That's the first thing. You don't run and call man because man going to tell you his opinion because he ain't had time. If you ain't had time to pray, you know they ain't had time to pray. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking good. You ain't got to say nothing. I know it. We go to God and you don't come out that room until God give you an answer and a solution.
Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And then, honestly, you're supposed to wait for confirmation. So then after that, that's when you say, okay, this is what God said to do it. But now, hold on. Let's go back to scripture. If you have anything against your brother or your sister, you go to them. So that just right there, that knock out the park, all that stuff on Facebook. Don't, you can't tell me, I don't want to hear it because that's scripture. We're going we're gonna to stand on scripture. Scripture is real, right? The Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. So what I'm saying is, find the love again, church. Can you please find the love again? Because if something happened to dare tomorrow, or Jesus come back to dare tomorrow, everybody going to be trying to, you know what, uh, explain. When all you got to do is walk in the grace and the mercy that he extends to us, and we're supposed to extend to each other every day. Now, hold on. I didn't say be a part of foolishness. I didn't say bash nobody. I didn't say do all that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The word don't say do all that. We, we got we, we to gotta come back to the, oral, the orals of God, the morals of God. And, and really, that word is the oracle, but we can call it orals as well, meaning that all the commandments. We don't even know the commandments. Just love one another. He said the greatest commandment is to love one another. I ain't saying you got to fool with them again after they hurt you or whatever, but quit trying to assassinate people. Quit trying to break their spirit. Oh, there it is right there. Y'all know how many people that every day people are breaking their spirit. Why would you want to break your sister brother's spirit? Can I ask you that question? Ask yourself that question. And then I want you to say this to yourself. How many times have people tried to break your spirit? Don't feel good, huh? So why would you impose that on another person? None of us wants, truth be told, none of us wants to go through that. So why would you put somebody else through that? And then when somebody speak on it, y'all get double mad Oh, because y'all like them. Can I tell you something why I think my ministry is so powerful? Because I don't go on feelings when, when God tell me to do something. I don't go on, well, I like this one. Or, that's my good. That's my boy. I go on principle. If you teach principle, you'll never be out of order. What is principle? God laws. I don't care about no opinions. I'm talking about scripture and God laws. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We ain't talking about who like who, who don't like who, who's the most favorite, who's the least favorite. We're talking about principle. And when you have principle, you will never be out of order. And that's what most people need to start preaching back on. Not opinion. It's not getting on Facebook. Facebook can be a wonderful tool for preaching and teaching and reaching. But truth be told, Facebook act like the devil sometimes. And really, it's not Facebook because that's just a, come on, let's break this thing down. That's a social media site. So it's not even Facebook. What is it? It is the people. And unfortunately, God's people are acting worse than the other people. Now you got everybody, y'all pulling out y'all phone, phone, and I'm going here. Y'all pulling out y'all phones, even in sacred places. You are not supposed to film everything in church, people. But y'all want some likes, or y'all want to, ooh, they tow it up. Are they? Y'all don't even see what's happening, huh? Y'all wonder why the, the, the body of Christ is not holy anymore. Because guess what? You're letting the world see everything that they shouldn't see. You're letting the world know everything they shouldn't know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When is God going to be respected again? When is the kingdom of God going to walk in order again? When is the kingdom of God walk, going to walk in love again? When is the kingdom of God going to learn to forgive again? When is the king of law, God walk in power of God? Do them as power, not just power. Because I'm going to be honest with you. It's too much going on. And if you don't understand that the enemy, he divides us. That's his most powerful gift is to divide people, divide and conquer. They've been doing it since the beginning of time and they will do it to the end of time. So this is about love. This is not about to bash anybody. I've said that three times for a reason because they always got, and I'm going here, they always got some on each side. Oh, you say something about my pastor, man, you better back up off me because <laughs> you already know I ain't scared of you, right? I'm talking truth. And and I know people don't like truth these days. Hey, God bless you. Hallelujah. Still love you. So we're talking about offense. How is it when you were unsaved, you can cuss somebody out there, cuss you out, and you'll laugh and drink about it. Now in the body of Christ, I can't believe they treated me that way. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going here. So the thing was, he supposedly walked in and saw her underwear. Now, I'm a woman, and some women are on this live. You mean to tell me she brought her one pair of underwear? Or may I say panty? I'm sorry. Let me let, let me be uh, politically correct. Panty. No, she probably had several. So does it matter? But of course, it's two different stories going on. Y'all know that, right? They saying they didn't walk in that part. The other people saying they are. What does it matter? 
it seems though there was a, I, I I see the truth. I'm not allowed to speak it right now because I don't want nobody to get hit. But somebody lied. Somebody lied. Somebody lied. And I'm I'm just gonna keep it like that. And I, I'm gonna pray for them because you lie for attention, and that's not that's not God. We can't do that. Don't let me tell you something. I didn't get here on my own. I remember, like I told you, I'm transparent on pro- purpose. For the first 10 years of ministry, I played and straight and did everything. And I'm going to be honest with you. I know when people lie. I know when people, y'all know too. Let, let's just keep it real. There's a way to do things. Because if not, God going to whip you until you righteous. <laughs> and if y'all don't believe me, keep living. Keep living. Apostle Deanna Dixon did not get this well on her own. I would love to say so, but that is not true. God whipped me so bad until... I'm scared to do anything, to be honest with you. Uh, God, is it, is it okay? God, because, and I'm going to break it down with another scripture, and then y'all going to understand. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So even if somebody do you something, you don't have the right to move until God tell you to move or not to move. Because we ain't, we ain't trying to hurt each other, right? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. We're on the same team, right? So if we're on the same team, why would I hurt you? If we're on the same team, why would I, why would I cripple you? If we're on the same team, I said something, if we're on the same team. People of God, just just pull back a little when something happens. Go pray. That's all I'm saying. That's how I'm, that, that's all I'm saying. Go pray and get that thing to God for real. Quit trying to manipulate. Quit trying to perpetrate and quit trying to orchestrate. Yeah, I said it. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord, not yours. Not mine. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's learn to love each other back to life. And if there is a problem, go to your sister and your brother in love and try to resolve that thing in love. And if you can't, the Bible says, shake the dust off your feet. We talk a good game, but we're not doing nothing scripture. That's what's happening with the body of Christ. Everybody have an opinion. Everybody have a thought. Everybody want to get or go on live. Have you considered the scriptures? The same thing that you say you're preaching about and teaching about, and that's all of us. Uh, have you considered it? Because that sounds the contradiction. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Woo! All right, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. But I just got to tell the truth. And believe it or not, I'm going to get back on here because I have another live. But I'm not going to do audio. Um, I love doing audio because, you know, sometimes I'm busy. But I'm actually going to get on in a little bit because I do have another video. So God bless y'all. God keep y'all. And it's all love. Roll out soldiers. For this is who we are. God bless.